Hi, I'm Tom Palmer, and this morning I'm standing along the shores of Lake Norman in beautiful Cornelius, North Carolina. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about several aspects of this town, including things to do, real estate, schools, and a lot more. So let's get started. Now, Cornelius is considered one of the nicest suburbs of Charlotte. And one of the things that Cornelius is known for is the beautiful homes you'll find here along the shores of Lake Norman. And because of this, several celebrities have called Cornelius home at one time or another, including Michael Jordan, Robert Parrish, Reggie White, and even Ricky Bobby from Talladega Nights. Shut your butt! If you've seen Talladega Nights, you may remember this iconic Cornelius mansion from the movie. It actually recently sold for almost $7 million. Cornelius is located about 30 minutes north of Uptown Charlotte, using I-77, which you see here. And the town has about 70 miles of land bordering Lake Norman. The population of Cornelius is about 32,000 people, according to the last census. Now, the town is already pretty densely populated, and it hasn't been growing as fast as some of the surrounding towns, like Davidson and Huntersville, because there's simply not that much undeveloped land left in Cornelius. Now, in case you didn't know, Lake Norman is one of North Carolina's largest lakes, and Cornelius has several waterfront neighborhoods. But even if you're not in the market for a waterfront home, there are lots of ways to get out on the lake, such as through the Peninsula Yacht Club, which you see here, or through the town's public boat launch areas. Lake Norman is an awesome place for adventure, whether you're into boating, kayaking, paddle boarding, or just relaxing by the water. And for a relatively small town, one of the best aspects of Cornelius is the 14 public parks that are available. My personal favorite is Jaton Park, which you see here. This park has 104 acres of land with some gorgeous trails that offer some incredible views of the lake. They've also got this great shaded playground, which I used to take my kids to when they were little. And a little further down the road is Ramsey Creek Park, which has one of the only public beaches you can find on Lake Norman. Cornelius also offers a huge number of other parks, like Bailey Road Park and the Westmoreland Athletic Field. Also, if you want to stay active, you can take advantage of Cornelius's Northern Regional Recreation Center, which opened its doors in 2022. Now don't let the bland name fool you. The rec center was built at a cost of $44 million. It includes two indoor pools, various fitness centers, as well as indoor basketball, volleyball, and pickleball courts. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so we've talked about parks and recreation, but what about culture and the arts? Well, another recent addition to Cornelius is the Kane Center for the Arts, which opened its doors in 2023. This spectacular building seats 400 people, and here you can enjoy theater, dance, and musical performances. The Kane Center also has art exhibits and offers music lessons to local residents. By the way, here's some quick footage of a great bluegrass band that I saw there recently. And one of my favorite places in this part of town is Old Town Public House, a cozy neighborhood tavern that has live music almost every night of the week. Also, from May until October, Downtown Cornelius offers a series of street festivals. On the second Friday of each month, this part of town turns into one giant party, featuring live bands on three different stages, along with food trucks, kids' activities, microbrewery offerings, and more. Now, as you can probably imagine, Cornelius offers a bunch of great local restaurants and shopping options. But because it's such a small town geographically, a lot of Cornelius residents will do their shopping in neighboring towns like Davidson and Huntersville. Burkdale Village, which you see here, is a high-end European-style outdoor shopping complex, and it's located right on the line between Southern Cornelius and Huntersville. Also, less than a mile north of Cornelius is downtown Davidson with its beautiful shops and restaurants. By the way, if you need a realtor to help you with your Cornelius home search, feel free to give me a call anytime. I'd love to help. You can find my contact information in the description below this video. Now let's talk about the schools in Cornelius. And even if you don't have school-age kids, you still might want to know about the public schools because they're important for resale values. Well, according to Carolina School Hub, the public schools that serve Cornelius all get scores of either a 9 or a 10 on a scale from 1 to 10. You can see the ratings here. And beyond the zone public schools, there are some great options for charter schools and private schools in the Lake Norman area as well. Now you might be asking yourself, how safe is Cornelius? Well, SafeWise.com recently ranked all the major cities and towns in North Carolina based on FBI crime statistics. And Cornelius was number 15 out of 109 cities and towns in the state. By the way, if you found this video helpful so far, then be sure to hit like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll know when we make new videos about the Charlotte area. Okay, so Cornelius has lots of fun things to do, has a low crime rate, and has excellent schools. A triple whammy. So you might be asking yourself, what about the real estate in Cornelius? Is it an affordable place in which to buy a home? Well, with all the great features I've mentioned, Cornelius is not the cheapest place you can find. The median price for a previously owned single family home over the last 90 days was about 641,000. This is quite a bit more than in some of the neighboring towns like Huntersville and Mooresville, but it's still a little less than in Davidson. Besides single family homes, Cornelius also offers a lot of condos and townhomes. 
and the median price for these is about $341,000. There are lots of waterfront communities in Cornelius, with the largest one being the peninsula, which you see here. Almost all of the homes in the peninsula are going to be over a million dollars, with many of the waterfront homes costing between two and six million dollars. Now, if you don't care about living close to the water, you might consider Robbins Park, where the homes were built between 2010 and 2017. Compared to the peninsula, Robbins Park homes tend to have smaller lots and slightly lower prices, with some homes under a million dollars. And if you want to spend less than that, a great option to consider might be Antiquity. Here you'll find a wide variety of townhomes and charming single-family homes. Antiquity has an awesome location. It's surrounded by a greenway, and it's within walking distance of both downtown Cornelius and downtown Davidson. And there's a shopping center connected to the community. Finally, for those who are age 55 or better, Cornelius also has a vibrant, active adult neighborhood known as Bailey's Glen, which you see here. Well, I've given you some of the highlights of some of the larger neighborhoods in the Cornelius area, but there are lots of others as well. So check out our website to see the latest inventory of homes. I've included a link in the description down below this video. If you want to learn about a couple of neighboring towns that I mentioned in this video, Huntersville and Davidson, just click on the links you see here. Thanks for watching. Thank you.